Hello everyone, this is Carrie, and I am here today to teach you how to do envelope art. We are going to start with just a plain envelope. Mine happens to be cream, but you can use any size, any color, any size, any style. Take some, just some distress ink and just randomly distress the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to be covering most of it up anyway. I've got a piece of freezer paper down on my desk here. Um, to work on so that I could just take it up and throw it away when I'm done. So I'm not worried that I'm getting that dirty. I'm going to open the flap and I'm just going to kind of do the edges there too. And I kind of like to do these little edges just a little bit like that. Okay, very simple so far. All we did was distressing. Okay, let's see. We might start with this side. We are going to take some dictionary pages just random pieces, tear them here and there, and just all different shapes, doesn't matter. And then you can distress the edges of those a little bit too, just so that they will blend right in. So there's a couple of those ready to go. Now you can use Mod Podge, you can use any kind of glue you want to. I'm using this Distress Collage Medium um, from Tim Holtz because I'm out of Mod Podge and this stuff is wonderful. I like it very much. So that's what I'm going to use. So we're just going to kind of randomly just collage some pieces on here. There are no rules. There's nothing you can do wrong. Just have fun with it. Okay, now we're going to take some hymn pages because I like music. You can use anything you want. Book pages, anything. doesn't matter. But I'm going to just put a little bit of some hymn pages in there. And I'm going to distress the edges of that a little bit. Okay, very simple so far. Okay, now let's see. Where do I want to put it? I'm going to stick that one maybe about right here. Okay, we're going to collage it down with the matte medium. And then I'm going to put this one about right in here. Okay, as you can see, I work very quickly. I don't know why. That's just, that's just me. I always have been quick. Okay, now, then you're going to take your paper napkin. This is just a single ply. I separated the plies. And we're just going to kind of tear it apart wherever you want. I'm going for that butterfly because he is so gorgeous. And then I'm just taking the straight edges off. I'm trying to anyway. I may not be able to take them all off, but say we just take the straight edges off of most of that just to make it a little more random. See my beautiful butterfly? Okay, so now I'm just going to add him to my envelope. Yes, I'm slightly overlapping some of the other pieces. Doesn't matter. Now, how pretty is that already? We could stop right there and be happy. But let's don't. Let's keep going. Let's add maybe this little flower. I think would look good up here in this corner. And it's got a straight edge there that I don't really like. So I'm going to pull some of that back off. And I'm overlapping the um, flap of the envelope too. It's totally fine. Doesn't matter. Just have fun with it. Okay, now I'm tearing another piece and I'm going to put it about right in here somewhere. And we're going to glue it down. And since this right here is just the pretty turquoisey colors, I guess got to be my favorite color in the world, I'm just going to add that here to the flap because it's pretty. So that's going to kind of be the theme that I'm going to work with here. So you see what I'm doing? It's very simple. Just keep at it. And through the magic of, of television, ha ha ha, through the magic of video, I've got one here that I wanted to show you that I've already done. This one is dry. I put some fabric pieces. These are fabric pieces on here too. And you can see my music, my dictionary, my rubber stamp. I stamped a lot of, um, I took just some text. It's actually the Lord's Prayer. And I just stamped text all around the background. This is a little vintage stamp. And I just kind of randomly stamped it all over. 
Okay, so for this one, this one's ready to go. So we are going to build a cluster. And I cut this piece out earlier. I thought I might try to use it somehow or another. And I was thinking about maybe sticking it right there. Then I've got this little piece of ephemera. Ooh, I think I'll stick that behind there. I've got a couple of old vintage stamps that I wanted to add into this cluster somewhere. Maybe. Now see, I'm just playing because I don't know exactly what I want to do just yet. I did want to have that flower. And then I've got these two cute little flowers. And these are all made out of paper and glitter. And so see, I could do that right there and that would be just fine. So I think what I want to do, though, is raise this up a little bit. I want that up off of the bottom because it needs it looks like it needs a little dimension it's almost blending in I buy these strips of sticky stuff at the Dollar Tree and they are fab you'll love them okay so I'm gonna put a couple of those on the back of this piece since he was on the bottom peel the backing off and I've already distressed this piece just a little bit okay so I'm gonna put him about right there Notice I went just a little crooked. Doesn't have to be straight. Remember, we're just having fun here. And then for this guy, I think I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue in there to hold him down. Like that. It didn't have to be a whole lot. Okay. Now, behind my flower, well, let me stick this in there first. I love these vintage stamps. Okay, now, so behind the flower, I wanted to add a little bit of bling, so I've got this eyelash yarn here, and here's how I do it. I just pull it against the grain to make it stick out a little further. This is a small flower, and just wrap around my fingers, I don't know, maybe a, a couple of times, according to how big the flower is. And then, I'm going to put it down on top of our little element here that we're making. And see, then I'm going to hot glue him right there. Okay? And he will hold the eyelash yarn down once I get him hot glued on there. Alright, so I'm going to put that right there. And these flowers are easy to make. I've done a video on them already. They're very easy. And then I'm going to add this little flower here. You know, they say in floral arranging, you're supposed to keep it in threes. It's supposed to be more pleasing to the eye. So, we'll put that guy right there. Okay, and see, technically, you could say, done. You could say, I am finished with that. You could add more lace if you want to. You don't have to. Um, I might think about taking this little piece right here. See, I could run that off the edge. I could run it all the way down the... Ooh, let's do that. I like that. We'll run it all the way down the bottom. So for that one, I'm going to use... You can use Fabri-Tac. I happen to have Fabri-Fix because I couldn't find Fabri-Tac at, at the store. And this, it actually works really, really good. So I'm just going to use this one. Uh-oh, we're getting caught in that. I'm going to use this glue, and I think I'm just going to add that piece of lace right there across the bottom we don't need that one there okay so let's put this here because I like the way that looked and I want it to go under there there we go okay there we go see now that's nice all right so we'll cut the trim the edges off like that and there is your envelope your altered envelope now you can go ahead and decorate the back. Uh, you see I decorate the inside a little bit too because I might decide, you know, to put something pretty there. Who knows what? But that's all there is to it, guys. It's very easy. I hope you give it a try and let me know if you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.